Domelang Sanbonan Ilochani Nda Apsheni. Here's what happened on Mobango, 8 December 2020. Then Damo Dao visited the chief in jail and told the chief that tables have turned now, he is in jail and wanted to know that what he wanted to say before Gizara came. As Wendini told him to leave him alone and he's got nothing to say to him and went back to his cell. Rambiza was at Hulisani's place and Rendani found out that Hulisani was gambling and lost the house. Rendani was so, so angry and told Rambiza that he's not gonna get the house and it belongs to her. Rambiza only gave them 24 hours to pay that 500k, otherwise he will take their house. Sharon was feeling guilty and woke up early in the morning and made a coffee for Mahangwani and apologized about the last night and said her friend just came unannounced. Mahangwani said she couldn't care less who she dates but that man is just too old for him. Shares felt relief that Mahangwan hasn't discovered the cottage situation. And then after, she told her that that man is after her and she doesn't even like him. Rendani was very depressed and Hulisani wanted to talk to her. She told him that there's absolutely nothing to talk about because he is a liar. He gambled his car, now it's their apartment. And then after she told him to withdraw the money into their joint account and settle his bill, Hulisani said the money is gone. He gambled with it and all of it. Yo, this guy on his bean. I can't tell. Orendani almost slapped him and told him that he's gone too far and there's no coming back. Ubo Kizara was speaking to Hangwani over the phone and he was in a good space because her daughter has done well. She has passed all her modules with flying colors and said yet she doesn't deserve a Germany car that she's dreaming about it. Mahangani asked Gizara if he wants to buy Shares a car. Gizara said he doesn't have that kind of money. Mahangwani also told Gizara that Shares is dating a sugar daddy. Gizara was so livid and told Hangwani that she's no longer gonna buy her that ugly brown car he saw. The deal is just off. Bafoye told Neshe that he must release him because he was trying to protect his family. Neshe had told him that he broke the law and it's not the first time he was hiding a fugitive not so long ago. It's up to Mudao whether he's going to be released. If he drops the charges, then he will be allowed to go home. Mpo called Denda and told him to drop the charges. That wasn't necessary. Denda agreed only on one condition, that she tells him what happened and he wants nothing but the truth. Rendani cancelled all the meeting he had because she had personal issues. Hulizani apologized to Randy. Randy wasn't having it and told him she's sick and tired of his fake stories. If he does it again, she'll scream. He needs to make a plan. Hulisani asked her to give him money so that he can make a plan. Yo, this guy has no shame. Rendani told him that he's not gonna get any cent and her money is tied up on investments. While they were talking, Brambiza walked in and Hulisani said he needs more time. He doesn't have all the cash now. Biza said he's willing to negotiate. Renani said she will invite the police, but Biza responded and said it's Hulisani who's going to go behind bars, not him. And suggested he wants to spend the night with Rendani and he will write off his debts. Hulisani was so mad and tried to beat him. Rendani handled Hulisani and stopped him. Then after he told Rendani to think about it because he's very good in bed. Just because he's old doesn't mean that he can't perform. Sharon was angry because Mahangwani told Bokizara that he has a sugar daddy. And then there was a sound outside the yard. Mahangwani panicked and told Shares that there's someone in the yard. Shares lied and told Mahangwani that they are having a party next door. She forgot to tell her about that. And then after she was no longer angry and told Mahangwani to rest, she will do the cooking. Polisani said he will call his uncle and he has no choice. Rendani told him she's going to see Biza. Polisani said he's not going there. Rendani told him that leaving and there is nothing he can do to stop him. Denda dropped the assault charges and the chief was with his family. But he didn't understand why Denda dropped the charges. Bokizara said he must be grateful. Ancestors came through for him. But as Windini said he was supposed to kill Denda and his mother was supporting him because any man in his position 
would have done the same thing. Makazi told the chief that they have done all they can to hide the secret, but now it's out all thanks to Azundin. Rendani went to Biza's place and told him that he doesn't have the money and she's going to trade her body for their apartment. Biza was already on cloud nine and drank some pills just to be ready. Now I don't know, this is just a low blow for Rendani. I wasn't really expecting this. That man disgusted me. The chief was still trying to find out who told Denda about the secret. Suzanne said it's Mpo and Po said she was just trying to help the chief. As they were talking, Mudawi got in and Bangani couldn't even do much to stop him and told the family that they should just give him his baby. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe so that you can get more episodes on this channel. 105 Online Channel loves you. Bye, good people.